Hey folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. This video for Monday, June 11th, 2012 is sponsored by Realtick. All right, a initial gap up today on strong markets from an Spain bailout essentially falling short here as the markets have reversed course and are now down 75 cents on the SPY. Dow Jones Industrial Average down 54 points, S&P down about 7, NASDAQ down 23, basically a half percent to slightly more for the NASDAQ on the day. Now, why did the markets fail to hold the gap up today? It's very simple, actually. On Friday of last week, we opened down, and then the markets rallied sharply to the upside, having a very solid day. That was because news had leaked out of a Spanish bank bailout plan, and that essentially has been factored in. So when the futures got word of the official bank bailout plan over the weekend, the futures got very excited. We were up about 15, 20 points last night, but it was already factored in the market. So you got a gap up today. It's options X week, which means the institutions are going to play wild games, and the markets just slowly fell all day long. And you see it's a beautiful pattern today. The gap up today, which again faded, we came right into the pivot low right here in the 50 moving average. Then you got a bear flag sideways pattern, which again tells us we're going to have more downside and the downside has come through there beautifully so again all the across the board everything working out beautifully in terms of pattern and again what I mentioned to my members in the no hype live broadcast which is a live broadcast for members uh, who are part of the research center here at in the money stocks.com live broadcast with live charts with live questions and so forth basically I said don't buy the gap up this is not a strong gap up the markets have already rallied their biggest rally of any week of 2012. That was last week. This is a weak gap up. Do not buy into it. Sure enough, what happens? It gaps up and falls. So that was a great call. And again, saving members money is so, so key in my job here at In The Money Stocks, as well as giving them swing trades that work and make them money. All right, so now the question is, well, where does this market come down to? Well, you have a little bit of a pivot support area that we're holding right here. And again, if I take a trend line and just extend it from this pivot high on Friday, you can see that's why we're getting the bounce. You also have another little minor level right down here as well. But the big level, again, would come down at the double bottom from this Friday low. All right, so this is support one, which we're on right now, support two, a minor support three, and then ultimately the double bottom down here, which would be support four. All right, well, what does this mean for the rest of the week? I actually personally think the markets will most likely float neutral to higher this week. I think it's going to be a choppy week because of options X, but I do think ultimately you will head a little bit higher. And then once we get to a key level, right around the 135.50 to 136 level on the SPY, at that point I think the markets will start to tank and really take a beating. And there's, there's ultimately going to be a great opportunity to short here. Um, I don't think it's quite here yet, though. And we have to continue to watch the markets and really look for that opportunity, which will come in the not-too-distant future. Just have to be patient, essentially. All right? So, again, markets holding this support area right here. Small bounce. If we fall down a little bit more, these are your next couple levels of support. And we will be watching very, very closely for those in the short term here. A couple stocks in play today. What are they? Well, Apple had a big conference where they were unveiling some key things. Uh, the stock was strong all day until that conference call uh, started that presentation, and then the markets obviously sold off a little bit on a, kind of a lackluster presentation. They weren't as thrilled as obviously the market was hoping for. It was already baked in the cake, much like the Spanish news was baked in on the gap up today and fell. Uh, Apple here falling once that conference shows us, or press conference shows us, that there's not a lot to that um, press conference with Apple. So again, down it goes. You're now actually making bearish consolidation here below the 50 moving average, which could actually tell us that Apple has a more downside into the end of the day. Facebook today, it's always good to take note of this. Facebook actually just hammered into the 50 moving average. Good bounce on, on Facebook just off of that. Stock is actually positive today in an otherwise you know pretty down market. So I mean, it's showing some relative strength, but by no means is it a strong, strong play today on the boards. Uh, other stocks out there that have interest here, J.P. Morgan Chase, gapped up with the markets leading the charge on the bank bailout in Greece. However, very quickly fell and went negative and has just really bled down the whole day today. It's barely had any substantial bounce. There is a level in this vicinity that is somewhat intriguing to me, 
And again, what you can do here is take this trend line. This was a trend line that broke earlier. That's one to watch. And then you also have this pivot low right here, which is the current level. Again, taking the lows from the 5th of June, connecting it through the low of the 8th. And that's what we're holding right now. So again, we can take away this one up here as this one's already been broken. And currently, you're holding right on this point. If this breaks here, you're going to go down to the 200 moving average, which is definitely possible absolutely possible but again just like the spiders are hitting support and getting a small bounce if we flip back to the SPY here you're also seeing JPM into support and getting a small bounce here and there's your support on the SPY still holding steady all right great morning of scalps in the intraday stock chat which is another service we offer here uh, my members again see my charts live my partners charts live we talk about we point to the charts we give you levels to trade we give you trade alerts and so forth on an intraday basis and that was a good session this morning when I was on the mic probably about three or four great scalps um, I put away a little bit over a thousand bucks myself just on a couple of those scalps uh, this morning so it's you know it's it's a solid action uh, the beauty of it was you had a market that came down into key gap fill and support levels and then you got bounces on those for quick little scalps before the market went lower. And that's the beauty of it. That really is the beauty of what we do here at InTheMoneyStocks.com. If you're a swing trader, if you're a, an investor, you're going to be geared towards the research center where you get swing trade alerts, you get proprietary analysis techniques, you get taught key levels and told key levels on stocks and markets and ETFs and currencies and commodities. And ultimately, you trade and swing trade with the pros in that service while learning the secrets of the pros. There's a lot of secrets out there. The secrets that we'll tell you here will make you a lot of money in the course of your trading career. All right, let's see what else there is. A uh, couple stocks that are a little stronger today. Exxon, which has been weak of late, but that stock, again, is, is up about 30 cents here. And you can see it's had a pretty solid bounce over the last one-week period. Even though it's off the highs today, it still is positive by about 30 cents. Chevron is down 30 cents. Google's down 6 while Baidu is up about $1.35, Apple still up about $1.25 on the day, even though that's sharply off its highs. IBM is down about $1.22. And again, if you just look at the IBM chart, it's not surprising you're getting a pullback here. It really is not. Because, I mean, look at the size of the bounce here. If you take the low down here around the 187 level and you go to the high from today, which was about 197 you're talking about in just the last week, IBM bounced 10 bucks. I mean, that's a huge, huge bounce. So to see a gap up there today on that bounce and then a pullback, you shouldn't be shocked. It doesn't change my idea that the markets probably need a little consolidation here, a little cooking in the oven before they have another chance of going higher. Again, as I said earlier, this is just a short-term move before the next big wave of selling will come in. And it will come in, folks. There's no doubt about it. But the beauty is, you know, what we do here at In The Money Stocks, we can make money on that quick bounce in the market over a couple days or a couple weeks, and then we position ourselves short again. We were short at the highs of this market, wrote it down for some big profits, been long uh, over the last week or so on a couple things, making some good profits, and eventually we'll be turning around to the short side again and just going back the other way. Here's your chart on the SPY daily chart, and again, as we inch up, I'd like to see the spiders really hit that 50 moving average right up here around the 135.75 level. I think that could be either later this week or next week uh, before we start to turn around to the downside. All right, so that's what we got going on here, folks. I think that's all I'll talk about right now. I got to get back to trading myself. I encourage you to take the seven day free trial to our services here at InTheMoneyStocks.com. Remember, seven day free trial to the Research Center, which is geared towards swing traders and investors, and the day trading chat room, intraday stock chat, is geared towards day traders, of course. Have a great afternoon, great evening. Good luck on making money in this market, folks. We'll be doing it here, making some great profits with our members. Take care.